Hi, I'm Patrick Cappiello, the wine director at Guild Restaurants. We're the seller here at Guild, uh, taking a moment to look at some of the unique wines that we have and kind of get an overview of the of the idea behind the philosophy of, of my wine program. Um, we definitely focus here on small growers, on unique cult wines, wines that you can't really find easily, uh, and wines that are most importantly made with a certain amount of care and love, and uh, in the end, I think produced the highest quality of wines from the particular region. So. Uh, as you can see, uh, at this point, we have over 10,000 bottles uh, physically in the cellar, um, which, represent, which is represented by about 3,200 selections on our wine list. Um, the focus is, is very much on verticals. Uh, the, wine, the wine program uh, goes back into the 1800s as far as vintages that we have from certain uh, estates. And uh, usually there's many years represented for each particular estate or vineyard or, or, uh, or producer. Um, Essentially, uh, uh, the focus on internationally styled wines for sure. We have uh, a lot of California producers here. We also have a, a large focus on French wines, especially wines from the Bordeaux region in France, from Burgundy, both white and red. Uh, we have a huge selection of wines from California's Napa Valley and Cabernet Sauvignon uh, based wines. Um, we also focus on unique stuff too. Uh, we have a, a lot of German wines. Uh, personally, I'm a lover of the wines in that region, so we have a lot of Rieslings with age on them, as well as young and, and vibrant styled wines uh, from many areas in, in the Mosul and in the Rheingau. Um, we also have areas like the Loire Valley in France that are kind of uh, maybe underrated regions and regions that uh, sommeliers tend to be attracted to because of the, the food friendly qualities of the wine and, and definitely the, the value aspect of the wines. Um, I'm just going to keep moving through the cellar here. <laughs> It's a little tight, but Manhattan real estate, you have to pack wine however you can to, uh, to, keep, it, to keep it where you need it. So, um, a few wines that are good examples of, uh, of the quality of wines that we use here. Uh, uh, for example, the wines from Francois Ravineau, for me one of the real great producers of wine from the Chablis uh, um, region of, of Burgundy. Uh, and we have uh, verticals back to the 70s from, from his estate. Um, we also have a great selection of wines from uh, Bordeaux, including uh, a vertical from Chateau Margaux dating back to uh, 1900 with uh, many great and unique vintages uh, represented as well. And uh, areas like the Rhone Valley, um, I think also equally as prestigious wines, things like Chateau de Beaucastel, and a great vintage like 1989 from that estate. And as I mentioned, some really unique wines from areas like Chinon in, in the Loire Valley in France. And not forget uh, California as well. Obviously, we're here in the U.S. and uh, like the really rare and kind of sought after Chardonnays from Marc Aubert, uh, 2009 vintage of Great Wine So, Anyway. Thanks for joining us here in the cellar. I look forward to uh, hosting you here at Guilt and having an opportunity to open some, some gems that we've acquired.